Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 4. Today is episode number 59. If you guys are enjoying the content, then be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and feel free to hit that join button as it really does help support the channel. Hopefully you guys enjoy. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we are here for the DTM tour. This is going to be R2 cars and we're going to be taking the Mercedes C-Class. Uh, we're starting off with Le Mans, the Nürburgring, Mugello, Silverstone, and then finish off with Circuit de Catalunya. Let's get going. All right. Oh, no. My headphone cable came out. Ah! Hang on. Ah, oh, no. What the? Is there no wheel in this car? Oh, that is such a weird steering wheel. Okay. Right, well, this is the, uh, obviously, this is the uh, touring car version of this Mercedes, and I am in love with it. This looks absolutely amazing. Yo, this thing actually has some decent performance. I love this car, it's so cool. Not bad. This thing is lovely, by the way. I love the look of this kind of car. Like, don't get me wrong. I like wide body kits. But this is not a wide body kit. This is just adding aerodynamics to the base of a car. Like, this is a normal shaped car. The front is exactly the same shape. They just stuck on. Okay, yeah, I know technically your white body is similar to that. But like white bodies are designed to sort of look clean, look like they belong. This, they've just slapped these aggressive diffusers, canards, all sorts. And I love this look. There was a car in I want to say GTA 5. It was a Mercedes. It was supposed to be a Mercedes. This is Fender extensions. Yeah, it's... I, I love this kind of style. But uh, there's a Mercedes in GTA 5 that had this exact same thing. So like a big bat wing on the back. In fact, it may have been what this car was designed off of, to be honest. I, I, I love the look of it. 
And I'm not gonna lie, when they have all this black carbon and have all these extra parts as like black carbon and then stick it, even look at that. Like look at the side skirts there. Like that is one nice looking car. See now, solely for the reason that I can enjoy this kind of drum and bass and enjoy it on stream and not get copyrighted for it. 24 hours later, what? Have I got 24 hours of playtime in this game already? Nah, I can't have. That's absolutely fucking nuts. Twenty-four hours of playtime in Forza Motorsport 4. Take it. Let's fucking go. I really do need to look at getting, um, I want to get like a video intro as opposed to, because at the moment I've got my countdown timer, but I want something a little bit similar to that, but an actual intro. I, I need a song that lasts five minutes. There's obviously a license that I can use every single time. I need a song that lasts five minutes. And I need to edit it up so it looks cool. But I also need to get time to do that. So I'll have to put on my checklist of things to do. I might actually make a checklist of like things to do when I'm bored. Holy fuck. Um Alright, I I don't even know what the hell's going on there. Cool! We crossed the line! Way! Alright, here we go! Chat, it's official, by the way. My sneak is in the UK. My US delivery. So, hopefully, fairly soon, uh, I may have Rocket Punch. It might even be here tomorrow. I really hope it turns up tomorrow, because I really want to try it. But uh, it is a US exclusive flavor.
But yeah, I've, I've got one uh, imported in. I'm hoping it's going to be nice. I don't see why it wouldn't, but... And I'm hoping at some point as well, I've got, I've got a um, shipment of Blizzard coming through as well. Which, I actually tried it when Alex came and did the member thon Because he came to pick up some sneak that he had ordered on my app. Uh, my thingy. Why not going for Asian import of sneak? Because uh, it's not available in the Asian market yet, I don't think. I think it's EU, US and UK only. That's the only stores you can technically get it from. Though, Sneak is doing their legacy thing at the moment. Um, all of their legacy flavors, so the unreleased Blackout and Royal Blood are all available for a short while. She really drives so well around this track. It's unreal. Yeah, so... I'm, I'm pretty excited for these two tubs to turn up. I've definitely got way too much to I'll be 100% honest. But at least I've got a variety of flavours and I won't have to worry about it. WhatsApp messages that I'm gonna have to check in a second. That's my food ready. Lovely. Oh, come on. The sunlight hurts my eyes.
crazy right when you look at like formula one that one grandstand there oh the grandstands are like flags i never noticed that but anyways one of these grandstands right probably would cost or earn the track but you see that little section there that little section on the very far end that probably be like a million pounds in tickets. Quite easily. Thousand people charge about five hundred pounds a ticket. Half a million at least. Absolutely insane amount of money. Back for me. I was like, why is it not finished? Where's the finish line? It's further up for this track. I keep forgetting that. Alright, that's food sorted out. That is my drink ready. I can carry on with these last three events. Um, I'm probably going to do these three. I'll see what the time is. I might be able to squeeze in another championship, but... Maybe not. Because I'm only spending a lot of time tonight just editing videos, so... Technically speaking, tonight's video is going to be the last video that I have uploaded to YouTube. That is ready to go. Um, well, it's not even ready to go. i got to sort out the thumbnail for it. But pretty much ready to go. There's then one video that I cannot edit till I upload another one because of how I do my end screens. The fact that the end screen will link to the next video. Obviously the next video has to exist for that end screen to link to the next one. Um, but yeah. I'm not doing no rally today, shut up.
This thing is lovely to drive around this track, bloody hell. The way that it's able to go around some of these corners. Why is my driver moving his arm like that? That, nah, that's, that's weird. I love the look of this car, it's so cool. Not bad. I will take that. Post race. Lovely jubbly. We've got level 71 as well. I completely forgot to press start recording. So that was fun. <laughs> Oh, 
Hello, coming through. Oh, what are you doing? That, this is a good first lap so far. For a majority of this game, we just have experienced the cars as like normal cars, and then later on, we start seeing like the cars be going faster, and we're seeing all these like zoom effects, the camera shake, darkening of the screen, all sorts, all these things that actually we probably would not have seen. when we were in the slower cars. And obviously now that we're in really fast ones. Not bad. Pretty weird having that as a start finish line to be honest. Yeah. Pretty cool. still working out how on earth uh, Motorsport 5 is going to go. Because obviously Motorsport 5, all the races are shorter. There's not any sort of super long endurance races, but like the special endurance events. But most of these races in Motorsport 5 are like six minutes long. So they're nice and short, but the structure and the way that all of the races are going to be 
I don't know whether every championship is going to be like a three-parter and there's going to be like five, maybe six races in them. We're just absolutely stormed through Motorsport 5. I'm genuinely unsure at this point what's going to happen. I'm just so excited to start Horizon 1. I'm so excited for that. Horizon 1 is one of the games that obviously completely revolutionized and in my opinion proved that the years 20, 2009 to 2014, well, 09 to 12, So 2009 to 2012 was like the golden era of Forza Motorsport or the Forza franchise. Because imagine going from like Motorsport 3 being like, wow, this game is amazing. Then Motorsport 4 coming out and being like, oh my gosh, this is even better. This is crazy. Look at all this extra content. Look at all this graphical improvements. Look at all the extra tracks. To then go in, right, by the way, we're, we've just made an open world racing game, which open world racing games didn't really exist much back in the day. Because there wasn't the capability to do that. Test Drive was quite innovative with having this open world driving game. So to turn around the, the next year and go, oh yeah, we've made an open world game. Holy shit. Right, this is it. This is the last race of the championship. This will also be the last race of the stream. I think I've decided after this one, this is going to be it for today. Because I do have a lot of videos to edit. I've got quite a few. I've got seven plus five. So I've got 12 videos. And then obviously today what I've just done is another five. So technically, even more than that. But I want to get that batch of 12 out the way. Get them edited and rendered. Dun 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 pa 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 pa
Not bad. Got two and a half laps left. This thing is an absolute beast to drive. It's unbelievable. online. Way! I wonder what he's playing on the 360 then. Oh, he's playing Motorsport 4. Way! Motorsport 4 is an absolute classic, so... Nice. There we go. Across my finish line, that is that race done. That is his championship done. And that is me done for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.